Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now April 7th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very excited about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. Given that now Kathleen Kennedy is no longer involved on a creative level for the current projects in the early development phase. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now the thing about Disney Plus, this is something that Disney and Lucasfilm are primarily focused on apart from the new Star Wars trilogy of films that are really going to be used in order to create a brand new Star Wars universe that is really going to evolve the Star Wars franchise as we know it. Now we do know that Bob Chapek, the new Disney CEO, is really making some major changes over at Lucasfilm in order to really reshape the Star Wars franchise in the coming years. Now the one thing about Star Wars is that on Disney Plus they have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects. We're talking about both live action and animated you know, series in one here. Over 10 years worth of material. That's not to mention of course the of course Mandalorian seasons 1, 2, and 3 that are going to be all unified and not just that but also we have the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series and Ahsoka Tano TV series with Ahsoka Tano appearing in multiple TV shows by Rosario Dawson and more to come. One of the projects of course being the Mace Windu TV show that's in the very early development phase by Lucasfilm. Now what's really intriguing of course is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the rise of Skywalker, they are currently focused on the new Star Wars trilogy of films as well as the new Star Wars universe. Now it's noted that currently both Disney and Lucasfilm are developing multiple ways in order to reunite the fans around the world to create a better future for Star Wars as a brand. As of now, Lucasfilm has over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects planned for Disney+, Plus, both in the form of live action and animated form. You know, it's noted that Lucasfilm is currently developing a Mace Windu TV series that they aim to release sometime in 2023 on Disney+, Plus, and that one of the big plans that Disney has in store is to attach the Mace Windu TV series to the planned Jedi Purge TV show that will introduce Darth Vader as the main villain. Now, it's also explained that as of right now, Lucasfilm is developing the return of Starkiller as the secret apprentice of Darth Vader that they plan to have appear in live action form for the Mace Windu TV series. It's explained that Starkiller will have a redesign in comparison to how he was designed in the Star Wars Legends material and that they, that they actually want to make both Darth Vader and Starkiller as the two main villains for the planned Mace Windu TV series. Not just that, but also Lucasfilm is planning to have both Samuel Jackson and a new actor portray Mace, where Sam Jackson is the present version of Mace, and a new actor to portray a young Mace Windu in the form of flashbacks for this planned eight-episode TV series three years from now. They also want to incorporate Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano in the Mace Windu TV show. So, this falls directly in line with what we heard just yesterday. I don't know if you guys heard the big news, but Rosario Dawson has a multi-show contract with Star Wars, Disney, Lucasfilm, whatever have you. And that means she's going to be appearing in multiple shows, like The Mandalorian, the Kenobi TV show, or even her very own TV show, as the Ahsoka Tano TV series, we call it. You know, all these different things are really going to interconnect, and you can see how they're really developing this new Star Wars universe to kind of be modeled after the MCU. All these characters crossing paths and then eventually all coming together. And that's what I like about this, is that they kind of are modeling it after the MCU in a different way, where we originally would have had a origin story first and then characters making their own debut. We actually saw that somewhat with the MCU, back in the day but one thing about this that really does interest me the most is that they are actually trying to get star killer in the form of live action in both the mace windu tv show and the planned jedi purge tv series that's going to feature darth vader and that's also going to interconnect with the mace windu tv series but not just that they also have a plan to recast the role of mace windu not for the entirety of the show but as in the form of flashbacks, kind of like, you know, what they did with other franchises out there. We've seen great examples of this. So, Mace Windu, popular character, having Sam Jackson back, and also having a new actor to portray a young version of Mace Windu, I think is pretty interesting. Though I feel that they really could have just done the de-aging technology, it's possible that they're not doing that because we're going to get a far, far younger version of Mace. Maybe in, even in his teens, for all we know. Who knows? 
So, like I said before in the past, Disney's really exploring their options. They're really exploring, you know, what they can do, what they can't do, what works and what doesn't work. And that's what Disney Plus is all about. It's basically going to be their platform to really test all these different TV series, how successful they can be, and then pick it up from there. Mandalorian was a great test, you know, they saw it was very successful, and now they're moving on to Seasons 2 and already 3. So, that proved to be a very big success, and I'm very happy about that. So, with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.